Welcome to Life Words Day by Day. In 1 Corinthians chapter 3, verse 5, Paul writes, What then is Apollos? What is Paul? Servants through whom you believed as the Lord assigned to each. Did you know that ministry leaders are to be seen as servants, not followed as superstars? The church at Corinth had elevated her leaders to a place of undue prominence and prestige to where they believed the leaders were owners of the church, the foundation of the church, and that the members could happily belong to whichever owner they thought was best and superior in the same way that a 14-year-old boy could choose the shoe that he thought would make him jump higher or shoot better or run faster. Well, Paul makes it clear that this is a fleshly, human way of thinking, not a spiritual one, not the way a redeemed person is supposed to think. Our boast is in the Lord, not ever in humans. So how are the Corinthians, and how are we supposed to think of leaders within the church? How are you supposed to think of your pastor? Well, Paul gives three answers to this question, what then is Apollos, what is Paul? If they are not owners of the church, people around whom kingdoms are built, then what exactly are they? Who exactly are they? Well, ministry leaders, pastors within the church, as Paul lays out, are these three things. They are servants of God with different assignments who are powerless. They're not praiseworthy, yet they are unified. We'll unpack this in the days to come, but today when you pray, Please pray for Christian Martinez and his family, our missionaries in Romania. And also remember the Garifuna Life Word broadcast that's heard in Belize, Guatemala, and Honduras.